What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week nine of the GBA season four. We're going up against Crimson Seabad and the Detroit Steel Wings. So, um, as I mentioned in our in our team builder video, it's going to be a very interesting matchup. I think as a whole, my team matches up better against most of his team, but he's got a few key threats that like single handedly decimate my team. So, like, I'm really on the lookout for those. Really hyper vigilant about those. But we're going to see what happens here. Um, before I even click accept. I just got to say, I mean, it's too late now, but uh, I felt after the team building video as I was uh, accepting the battle from Crimson and talking to him that I feel like I underprepared for the Clefable. So I hope this isn't <laughs> this isn't bad luck, but I'm realizing he's brought it to every match. It's going to be here. I'm clicking accept. We're getting into this battle now. Okay, so it's similar to what I thought he would bring. Um, Almost identical. I did. I was thinking the wheezing maybe, but uh, the big thing there is that this Rhyperior, um, the Choice Banded Rhyperior, really does a number. Really, really, really does a number. Um, he didn't bring the B drill, which is good. Um, it does make my viral set a little bit worse. But let's look at uh, let's look at assorted potential leads here. He could go for the right away uh, Volt Switch lead there, but that seems unlikely. He's not going to early boost. This guy's got to come in on something. He's got great bulk, so he's going to save that. This could be a potential um, set to set up some rocks early game. Clefable, just to start. I don't think I'm going to see it's Calm Minding uh, and Sableye. So these are the most likely leads. I think given this current setup, I could get my rocks up early here. Um, none of these three can really scare me out that much. I mean, some of them can, might pack something that hits me a little hard, but I think it'd be a pretty good shot that I could get my rocks up. The thing is, though, if I need to ignore spectators, so, uh, as you can see here, some of our friends are coming to watch. The issue here is that, uh, if rocks come up, I gotta switch into Moltres really early in the battle. Um, so I'm actually going to lead with two chains though, and I'm predicting the spell to lead. He's actually going to lead with ACDC. Interesting. So he could pack the Shadow Ball here. I could switch into Bunny Sword, which would be... Uh, he doesn't have the Gothitelle. That's a nice thing because it means Bunny Sword is not at risk of getting trapped. Um, I could go for the Stealth Rocks here right away. Because I'm predicting the Signal Beam or the Shadow Ball here. Both of which would probably hit me for about 50%. I wouldn't like to just take that damage outright, but the point is to get Stealth Rocks up early, and I think he's going to Volt Switch. So let's just go for the Stealth Rock. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball, does a little less than half, uh, and I get the Stealth Rocks up and some Leftovers Recovery. Now, predicting that he'll probably go for that again, I can either U-turn out to get some damage on this guy... Or I can, it's probably smarter for me to just go straight into Bunny Sore, though, who will definitely take anything this guy has with a bomb. There's Bunny Sore on the Shadow Ball, uh, only 11% there, so very little damage. Now, he's got a Clefable. He's got a Clefable, and one thing I know is that my Gudra. At one point, I was packing uh, Earthquake on this guy, but um, I'm not sure anymore. The Fable is the safe switch into this end, to this threat, and uh, Sludge Wave does a lot to Clefable, and the thing is Sludge Wave will do enough to Jolteon that if he's not going to switch after one, I can just go for the Draco after that. So let's go for the Sludge Wave here, predicting the switch into Clefable. Uh, he's going to go into Creeper instead, who actually resists this, so that was a good switch on his part. Um, he could go for the knockoff here. He could go for the knockoff. And I don't want to lose my life orb on Fox. But. He might go for a Willow. But if why would he go for a Willow? Sableye actually, I think, takes a massive amount of damage from Draco. I might be able to take him out here. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for the Draco. He's going to go for the Willow. He's actually going to miss it, but it won't matter because the, oh, the Draco doesn't kill him. Shoot. Shoot, the Draco didn't kill him. Uh, so, um, I predict he'll go for a recover here. So, what I could do with that, 
Moltres can do a massive amount of damage to this guy with an overheat and a hurricane, but I I would also like to get the rain up. And Politoed can hit him for about I think I think I have it calc that he hits for about 87%. Um or more with a hydro. So let's bring let's get the rain up right now. Uh, he's gonna go for the recover. He's at 67, 72. Um What does he have for this? I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump outright. He's probably he might go for a recover again just to scout what I'm going for, but that's a losing battle for him. I go for the Hydro Pump and take him out in one hit. Yes, that is what I needed. That is exactly what I needed. Okay, so Sableye's gone. That's one wall down. So my next goal is to get Bunny Soar in. Maybe on the Jolteon again would be a safe switch, and then predict that. I'm just for days gonna predict that Clefable. Even if the Skarmory opts to come in. Uh, Rudra is going to beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Return of the Kirby. So, a couple of things I could do here. One is, uh, if I go outright for the Hydro Pump, I'll hit him for... It's all. It's a two-hit KO. Um, he might pack the Energy Ball. The bigger issue would be if he starts trying to set up, but that's what Parish Song is for. So, let's go... Cute Charm, not likely. Magic Guard, yes. Unaware is possible if he was fearing that I have boosting sets. Um, but with the last minute switch out of Swords Dance Scizor, that's not the case. Hydro Pump is my highest damage attack, but I think I'd rather just Parish Song. So let's do that. I go for the Parish Song now. He's going to go for the knockoff and get rid of my Damp Rock. Um... I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump here, and it's gonna do a massive amount of damage. He goes for the Moon Blast. That did 65%, so this guy is definitely an offensive set, not a defensive set, which is awesome for me. Just a really, really, really good thing. Um, I've got four turns of the rain left, and uh, Fox would take a Moon Blast really well. He doesn't want to lose this Kirby yet. I'm pretty confident in that. Who could he switch in, though? He could switch in to the, um... He could switch in... He's not going to switch into right here. That makes no sense. He could switch into the Feraligator. And I could... Maybe get a Scald Burn off on that. Or I could go for a Rest here and then switch out on the turn one of Parish. But I don't want to give him a chance to recover. I don't think I need... Um, yeah, let's go for the, uh, let's go for the Hydro here and hope it doesn't miss. I miss it. He's gonna soft boil. Shoot. Now he's switching out. So I'm gonna switch out too. And the thing is that I think most of these guys give me the opportunity to get Ultron in here. I got three turns of the rain up. So let's switch into Ultron here. He's gotta predict who I'm switching into now. And I know that he doesn't have Chandelure. Clefable has to switch and he doesn't have Gothitelle. So none of his Pokemon can one hit KO me. None of his Pokemon can one hit KO me. He's going to switch into the captain. Can't believe I missed that. Ugh, I should have just gone for Scald. Shoot. An unfortunate Hydro miss. Uh, the captain's here. Probably wants to get... You know what? I'm going to switch right into Fox here. Because I think he's going to want to go for Rocks. So let's do that. Before Rocks go up. There's the Stealth Rocks. Now, Skarmory in against the Moltres. Hurricane's like a 50%. Brave Bird's like a 40. I can go for one Hurricane and one the, uh, when everything goes down. I mean, I could go for a Defog right now, too, but I think it's better to just get this 100% get this accurate Hurricane off. He's gonna switch into Rocky Balboa as I go for the Hurricane, which he resists. And, uh, it's gonna go... Rain's gonna go down now. So... 
I don't think, even if he's scarfed, I don't think he can outspeed me, right? He's only speed, what, 40? I think a jolly Rhyperior w with a scarf would outspeed me. But I think the better move is for me to go for overheat here. Yeah, I go for the overheat, take him out. That's two of his big threats down now. So my next big thing is I need to see who he's coming in with. Bro Sidon. He could go for the uh, he could go for a setup here, which wouldn't be good. What do I know about this? Uh, according to my team building, um, for alligator can't do a whole lot to Swampert. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot to Politoed either, and I can get that Parish Song off. He could go for the, um, shoot, if he goes for the Aqua Jet, I don't think it'll kill me. He might not have the Aqua Jet, though, is the thing. I should outspeed. If not, we'll see why. I'm going to go for the U-turn. Get 25% damage off. And now we can go into... Um, what do I think he's going for? Probably just a water attack. Bunny Sword can, uh, can thunder him. Yeah, he's going to Bunny Sword. Here. This might have been a mistake. He's going to go for the Swords Dance. Problem. Except that Viral can come in as soon as he wants. And uh, scare him off with it. He's Swords Dance, not Dragon Dance. So if I come in, my Scarf guy will be able to just Volt Switch on him and take him out. So, um... Bunny Sword is my safe switch into... Jolteon. This guy can have a max of 143 speed. I'm only 100, so I'm not that fast. He'll probably outspeed me, and at plus 2, almost certainly that Ice Punch is going to take me out. Yeah, he's definitely going to take me out. I probably would take me out even if he wasn't Swords Danced. Um, ice Punch, maybe 30% to a dollar Bills. So I could sack him in order to get the rain up. No one wants to take this. Two chains, I've got my rocks up. What's he really useful for anymore? What is he really useful for? Thunderbolt would be useful against the Skarmory. No, two chains gets to go. There's the ice punch and uh, two chains goes down. Viral is going to come in. I am scarfed, and he's at 63. Did I see life orb damage from that? Uh, ice punch. No, I did not see. He's at 63%. I could go in and go for the volt switch. We know that I outspeed on Fox. So I could go into Fox with knowledge that I outspeed and go for the hurricane. That would be horrible if I missed, though. You know what, I still have Bunny Sore. I know I can switch into the ACDC Jolteon. Um, so I could go for Viral, go for the Volt Switch. If Jolteon, if he makes that prediction Jolteon comes in, then I've got, I got moves after that. So let's do this. Shoot, but you know what, he probably does, oh god, did I just do this? Does an Aqua Jet at... Does a plus two Aqua Jet kill me? It does not. So he is going to go into ACDC the Jolteon as I go for the Volt Switch. Shoot. He's got me going now, guys.
What's he got? Let's go into the bunny store to take this. Shatter Ball hits me for 12%. Does not get the special attack drop. Now, last time I went for Sludge Wave, predicting the return of Kirby to come in. This time I'm going to go for a Thunder, predicting the Captain to come in. Yep, there's the switch, there's the Skarmory. Thunder hits, super effective, and does 26%. How did that do so little? <laughs> um, the captain's level 100. Crimson. Okay, we're back. What's going to happen is Crimson is going to spam Stealth Rocks until I kill him with Thunder. Um, because that Thunder would have killed. Unfortunately, he forgot to uh, make this Pokemon not level 100. So we're just going to do this. He's going to go for Stealth Rocks. This works out. Uh, I missed the, th <laughs> missed the Thunder. And uh, one more Thunder to his Stealth Rocks. And the Captain goes down. So now we're seeing a veritable setup for the Ultron sweep. Um, we just need him to come in when the rain is up, and he should be able to pretty much finish off this match. Bro side and the Feraligator is going to come in. Obviously, I can't mess with this gentleman on the field. Um, he could go for the Ice Punch now and kill me, unfortunately. And with the rocks up, Fox coming in, I can't take any attack from that. Um, I still want this guy as a switch into Jolteon. I still have that as an option. But what else do I really need him for? He's got Sludge Wave for Return of the Kirby, but I can kill him in other ways. I can't risk him setting up again. So I guess Draco? He's going to go for the Ice Punch right away and take me out. That was the smart play on his part. He kind of had to do that. Um, now I don't have a safe switch into Jolteon, though. I do not have that. Ultron can come in and just get the Mega Evolution off and kill him with an Earthquake, regardless of whether he's going to outspeed or not. Um, he might have HP Grass, but uh, if he does, I don't predict it'll do that much. Here's the, this is a pivotal moment, though, because I need to revenge this guy correctly. And if he has, if he does indeed have Aqua Jet, Fox dies. So I think maybe just come in with Ultron and scare him out? I'm not sure. Um, HP Grass is about 40% to Ultron. I think, it's, I think it's time to get Ultron in here. Go for that Mega Evolution. And uh, the most damage I'm going to do to this guy is with an Earthquake, which will hit for 60 to 70%. Nothing here really wants to take it. So I'm going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the Waterfall, which hits me for 51. It's a good amount of damage, and Brasiden goes down. So that was probably the biggest threat he had. Now, if Jolteon comes in, I can predict that that means he has Hidden Power Grass. If Kirby comes in, um, I'm pretty sure at this speed I know I can outspeed. Jolteon comes in. Yeah, let's switch into Dollar Bills. Set up that rain. He's going to go for the Hidden Power, which is Hidden Power Grass. I go down. Ultron can come back in, outspeed this guy. I mean, or I could just go into Fox and nail this guy with a few 100% accuracy. No, because I'm not going to outspeed. Um, Viral with the Choice Scarf Earthquakes, but I can do that anytime. I don't need to do that now. So Ultron comes in now that he outspeeds. Earthquake to take out the Jolteon. 
Clefable comes in. No, he outspeeds me. He's scarfed. Shoot. Scarfed Jolteon. Not bad at all. Okay. Scarf Jolteon. <laughs> well, he played that one. I played right into his hand. Switches into Kirby. Earthquake does not do that much. Going to Fox now. Shoot, I think he won. Fox can't take an attack um, from both of them. I think he won. Shoot. My only hope is he goes for an attack here and I kill him, but if he goes for the soft boiled. So here's the question. If he goes for a soft boiled and I switch into Fox, I have a chance. If he goes for an attack and I switch into Fox, Fox dies. So I think I have to go for the Earthquake again. I get a crit. He goes for the Moon Blast. Um, no, I still lose. I still lose because Jolteon's going to outspeed me even though I'm Scarfed because he's Scarfed. Um, but the thing is, he can't lock himself into an electric attack. He has to lock himself into something neutral, but it's going to kill Fox no matter what. He wins. He wins because he goes for Shadow Ball here and it's going to take out both of my remaining Mon. Fox comes into the rocks, almost dies, and will get taken out here. Good game, Crimson. You win that one, and my playoff hopes have died. Um, damn it. I needed that win. I really did need it. I really did need it. That, uh, I shouldn't have sacked Bunny Sore, I guess. I'm sure there were plenty of places I went wrong there, but you know what? It was a fun match. It was a close match. Um, and now my goal is to play weird upsets. I don't know. I think Mulvone already has his division, so I can't really play upset there. Crimson, that was a great match. Really good match, buddy. Um, you guys should go check out his channel. And uh, also check out the GBA channels while you're at it. We got all the descriptions in that, if, sorry, all the links for that in the description down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.